All right, welcome everyone. Today we are making a video for a Lockjox 600 subscriber giveaway. And this is an entry to this giveaway. We are going to discuss creating custom tools and I'll be making one custom turning tool to open an ABUS lock. All right, let's start. Today's agenda involves me congratulating Lockjock on reaching 600 subscribers on his YouTube channel. And then we'll delve into creating custom tension tools. And that's it for today. Before we conclude this video, I'm going to congratulate Lockjock on going past 600 subscribers on his YouTube channel. Uh, Lockjock is a tool creator, from what I understand, uh, according to his uh, videos and from what other people are telling me uh, about Lockjock. He's also a very talented lock picker. Uh, he has great knowledge on picking this detainer locks. Uh, he has contributed a couple of uh, blocks to the uh, Lockpickers United uh, website. His specialty is definitely the Distatainer locks. He has picked many uh, black belt Distatainer locks, so he's probably the man to listen to when it comes to Distatainer locks. In order to enter his giveaway, all you have to do is uh, create a custom tool yourself and then use set custom tool to open a lock. The lock has to have at least four pins, so the tool could be like a uh, lock pick, a flag, or it could be a tension tool or any other tool that helps you open a lock. So, when it comes to creating custom turning tools, I usually source my metal from the Mook Workshop, which is available at mookworkshop.de. I'll have the link below in the description. I use that as a base for my custom turning tools. And I'll have some footage on what they look like on the right side of the screen. So what do I use in order to uh, create these custom tools? I use a pair of pliers. I use them to bend the metal. I also use a metal vise to help me secure the metal that I'm working on. I'm also using sandpaper to sand down the, the metal a little bit, make it uh, somewhat flat and get rid of so, some of that residue which is on the metal. Once you remove them from the windshield wipers, which is usually where, where they come from, from older cars with windshield wipers of course, uh, you have to get, get rid of all that uh, color and uh, debris that's still on the metal. I also use a Dremel tool to create various profiles of tension tools. So I have two profiles which I really like to make. The one is a tapered profile and the other one is like a split profile where one end reaches in a little bit deeper than, than the other one. Uh, this helps me tension uh, padlocks and I also use them. Uh, lately I, I've been using them to tension uh, Ruko locks and uh, right now I'm working on some tension tools to, to help me tension uh, medical locks. And after I'm done with uh, creating the, the profile, I, I, I polish them using a polish profile uh, on the same Dremel tool. So now that we know all that, let's go ahead and pick a lock. All right, good afternoon. So, what I have for you today is this Abus 8460, I believe, or 50. I think this is the uh, 50 millimeter one. And we are going to pick this using this custom tensioner that, that I just made. This is the, uh, the tapered version, which has a tapered end. Starts out at around, let's see. Let me zero this one out. So it starts out at around 2.8 millimeters and stops. Yeah, let's see, stops at around. Trying to measure the tip. 1.8 or 1.75 millimeters. So this is a tapered custom tensioner made using the Moak Workshop. The metal that you can order. I believe these are extracted from various um, wiper, uh, so car car wash wipers, uh, window wipers. But yeah, very good metal, easy to, to work with. All you have to do is just use two pliers to um, bend the metal. 
of course you'll have to uh, produce some for some force to uh, force the um, metal in, into bending like this and then I also used a table grinder to grind down some of the uh, metal to make these nice uh, tapered ends I also made a nut metal version which is this uh, split tensioner which has a cutaway in the back like that uh, let me try and this on it like that yeah. there you go so it looks like a split tensioner we are going to use this to pick this Avis 84 we're going to use the uh, bottom of the QA to tension this lock and then we are going to use the new Moki um, round hooks the extra the extra wide round hooks all right let's start we're going to start from the uh, back of the keyway like this get a nice full set hopefully There we go. Oh, we don't manage to overset. So, a bit of tensioning. And we have it open. There we go. I picked some pins in the back. I believe it was four, four five, and then one. And the uh, lock just opened. So there we go. Again, with all that said, congratulations to Lockchuck for going past 600 subscribers on YouTube. Right now, he's closer to 650. Uh, please, if you haven't done already, go ahead, go to Lockchuck's uh, YouTube channel and subscribe. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. It's at Wolfgang Reutzig. I just reached 40 subscribers last week, and I'd love to reach around 50 by the end of this week. So please go ahead and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think of this content. Um, I'm I have a couple of more videos uh, on the way, I'm just editing them. Uh, so there, there are more videos coming to this channel and I'll have one more video coming up on the future of this channel. And for you Luckchuck, please keep making these amazing videos. I'm really look, looking forward to some more videos on beginner disdetainer locks and how to pick them. Right now I'm only starting out with some green belt uh, disdetainer locks like the FJM and the Zerker, I think. That would be all from me. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. This has been Wolfgang from Vienna.